Hello YouTube, welcome to the Gordon DPT channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a gaucho knot from a 7 lead 6 byte Turks head knot base. Now I've noticed that there are many um, instruction tutorials on how to do a gaucho knot from a 5 lead 4 byte Turks head knot. There are also many tutorials out there on how to do a gaucho fan knot from a 7 lead 6 byte Turks head knot but there are no tutorials at least that I'm aware of on how to do a gaucho knot from a 7 lead 6 byte Turks head knot. I have tied a 7 lead 6 byte Turks head knot on my mandrel and the reason why they call this a 7 lead Turks head knot is because there are one two, three, four, five, six, seven strands in a single track. To tie a gaucho knot on a seven lead square Turks head knot, you will need six steps for each sequence, starting with an under, over, under, over, under, and finally over. For the first sequence, take your working end on the left side of your standing end and go under, over, under, over, under, and over two. And now you want to re-enter the knot right next to where it exits and go under, over, under, over, under, two, and then finally over two. Re-enter the knot right next to where you exit and go under, over, under, over, under two. and over two. Next, you re-enter the knot again, going under, over, under, over two, splitting a pair, under two, splitting this pair, and finally over two. Our next sequence is under, over, under, over to the split, under to the split, and over to.
By now you can pretty much see a pattern here, you keep adding and adding from the end of the sequence as you go along. And for this sequence, we go under, over, under 2 to split, over 2 to split, under 2 to split, and over 2. And now you want to re-enter the knot again, going under, over, under 2 to split, over 2 to split, under 2 to split, and then finally over 2. As you can guess, the next sequence is under, over 2, under 2, over 2, under 2, and finally over 2. Re-enter the knot again, going under, over 2, under 2, over 2, under 2, and then finally over 2. And now for the final sequence, we go under 2, over 2, under 2, over 2, under 2, and finally over 2. And now all we have to do is bring our working end next to the standing end and we are done. You can use the same method for any square Turks head knot with an odd number of leads like this gaucho knot made from a 9 lead 8 byte turks head knot. The only difference is you need more steps for each sequence. And that's it for our tutorial, see you next time.